Three days of snow back in Birmingham And I thought you were wondering where I am Well, I died down on all night long And I got no comfort on the telephone Ran out, booked a midnight flight Cause I thought a little love might make everything all right The landlord told me that you moved away Left behind all your bills for me to pay Look out, baby You might have made your move too soon You left me with only a kino car I found out life in Vegas Show sure ain't hard Well, I ran the thing up to about 50 grand And then I cashed it in And I held it high in my hand That kind of word show can get around and make a lost lover become found. Well, I heard you knocking last night upon my door. I changed my locks. You don't live it here no more. Too bad I think you made your move too soon. Just a little bit too soon I 
think you made your move too soon Now the reason why I say I think you made your move too soon is Because the last time I was packing my bags to go out on the road I noticed that you were acting kind of funny Acting kind of strange You helped me pack my bags Ran to the telephone and made my reservation Something you never did before I believe to me that was the tip off You know what I mean? So I went on to my, my show Because I came up in the time when they said the show The show must go on no matter what Yeah, so I went on to my gig And I got up on the bandstand And I remember Dinah Washington saying to me Baby girl, if you got a problem All you gotta do is Sing about it, sing about it, sing about it, sing about it Sing about it, sing about it Yeah, 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 yeah I sang People done me wrong songs all night long Yes, I did, hey. Cause I wanna leave these blues right here on the bandstand I don't wanna take them home, yeah And also, from the bandstand, I could see the bar And I spotted this little cutie pie Sitting there all by himself Giving me the eye After I hung up that phone trying and trying to get through to you with no results I made a beeline to the bar, yes I did And it just so happens That there was an empty seat Right next to him I think he saved it for me, you know what I mean? I sat down and I looked straight ahead Cause I'm cool Yeah And he tapped me on the shoulder And he said uh, Excuse me lady Can I buy you a drink Fellas Oh fellas We call that an icebreaker <laughs> I looked at the bartender And I said Bartender Oh, bartender, I want you to give me the biggest and the best bottle of champagne you got in this house, bartender. I'm talking magnum. Because you see, I got a whole lot of things on my mind this morning, and I, I do believe I have found me somebody who's going to listen. Yeah. Also, I figured if this dude is just sitting here wasting my time, way down, y'all, way down, wasting my time with a champagne taste and a Budweiser pocketbook, and I ordered this big expensive bottle of champagne on him, and he ain't serious, he would not be waiting for me when I got back from my last set. You know what I mean? That's called separating the men from the boys. <laughs> You see, the older you get, the more you know what to do with your time. Because it's important to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, the man passed the test. Yes, he did. He passed the test with flying colors. Not only was he sitting there smiling at me when I got back, but... He said, now I ain't trying to rush nothing. But I asked the bartender to uh, chill one more. My kind of man, my kind of plan, and don't forget my 50 grand. Yeah, yeah. I think you moved too soon, cause I ain't missing you. Missing you. Oh, I got a brand new man with a brand new plan, and I, I ain't missing you. I think, I think, I think. 
With this age comes forgetfulness. <laughs> it's all a part of the, the program. And uh, just so I don't miss anybody, I'm gonna... <laughs> On bass, Mr. Gerald Cannon. Let's just start, let's start over here. On the saxophone, Mr. Jeff Rupert. <laughs> On the trumpet and trombone, Mr. Terrell Stafford. <laughs> no! No, no, no. They told me that. They told me that was what was in the program, but that's not it. <laughs> Mr. Michael Mossman. <laughs> These three, we've worked together. This is my group. But this is the first time working with these two fellas. So. Okay. And on the drums. And on the drums. I know his name. I know his name. Mr. Willie Jones. And now, going back this way. <laughs> On the bass, Mr. Gerald Cannon. And on the piano, the gentleman I met when he was 18 years old, and he was playing, uh, just really playing so much. Uh, he was playing the blues and playing them with so much soul and so much knowledge. And, I had to ask him, uh, how old are you? He said, 18. And I said, well, how did you learn to play like that, you know, so early, you know? But he's a, he's a full-grown dude now. <laughs> that was a few years ago, right? Mr. Taylor Eichstein. Yeah. Yeah. 